Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee on a gorgeous 28th of June. Temperature is going to hit about 28 degrees Celsius, which is going to be around high 80s, 86 maybe, 87 Fahrenheit. And at a time like this, I find myself asking the same question I asked when I realized I had four kids, and that is, how did I get myself into this? I started off uh, three years ago with, I wanted one hive but I researched it and discovered that you should really start off with a minimum of two hives. So I started off with two hives. I uh, went to three hives the next year. I started off this year with those three that you see in the main group there. And I split off a fourth. And then I have just ordered two nukes, which are sitting here in these boxes, which I'm gonna install right now. So I'll be up to six hives now. So just be forewarned, if you're just getting into beekeeping and you're watching these videos, it is addictive. It can be addictive. So if you have the addictive personality and uh, you lose control over stuff, this is absolutely perfect for you. So I'm going to install these two nukes, and thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee. Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready to install the first one. This is gonna be hive number uh, six, I think, I guess. And uh, this nuke feels a little on the light side. So I'm gonna see if I can undo the tape and open the door just to let them fly a bit. And if not, I will just uh, let them go. Hey, I found my hive tool. Remember I lost it in my last episode? Well, I found it. It was uh, right where it was supposed to be. Now, I, it fell on the ground pretty close to uh, on the trail basically leading back to my car. So, don't know how it got there, but I got it and now I've got spares. Just trying to see if I can open this without undue violence. And it's funny, it's open and they've got the bees that have passed away recently right at that door. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna quickly open the other uh, opening to the other box so that those bees can get flying too. So I'll just put you on pause for a sec. Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready to install this nuke. And uh, I'm gonna more or less keep it pretty simple. Um, I actually forgot to bring my other uh, it's a four frame nuke and I forgot to bring the filler frames that go on either side of this, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, gonna be away for a few days, but they shouldn't be able to do too much harm in those few days. So I'll get them going uh, probably on one side of the hive and, uh, and then bring in the filler frames after. Right now the prime mission is just to get them in there. It would be nice to spot the queen. Should be relatively easy to do on four frames. Just check their resources and set them up for feeding. Again, I'm not prepared to feed them today. I've got some, uh, I've got some, um, some pollen patties, but I don't have sugar water set up yet. So I'll have to come back to do that another day. So primary mission today, set them up, hope that they have good resources, top off those resources if needed, and uh, hopefully spot the queen, spot some eggs. So here we go, it's the big reveal. Okay, so far it's nice to look at. Now, with all this burr comb here, probably means they've been in this uh, in this nuke box for at least a couple of days. There's a decent amount of bees so far. It's not bad. Looks like bees are covering all four frames and then some, so that's good. Gonna look for the queen on the lid here, first of all. Let's see, let's put this camera right here. Just looking for queen kind of movements, you know. And of course the bigger body. These queens are unmarked. So I'll just have to fend for myself as usual. Okay, I don't see a queen in there. I'll get them going into the bottom of the box anyway. Yeah. 
And let's see what the fir first frame should be. A resource frame, so it should be a, uh, a honey frame. Just bringing it up nice and slowly so that uh, I don't roll that queen. You can see it is a frame that's pretty good with honey, uh, nectar, and still some room for them to fill up. So that's the very outside one, so it's usually the least drawn one. On the inside, you can see there's a little more in the way of resources here. So that's a good honey frame. Okay, I don't see the queen. Nope. No queen, so in the box they go. Okay, next frame. Next frame there should be some brood on. And sure enough, there is some good brood on both sides. There's some emerging brood coming out of here, so... Again, the queen might not be on this frame because she's done her work on this one. But you never know. This side has got good brood as well, with some larva. Come on, queen, where are you? Let's see the queen on here. Okay, we'll keep looking. Good frame though. Next frame should be more or less the same thing. Should be a frame with good, uh, good brood on it. And this frame actually has a lot of space here. A lot of laying space. So this might be a good frame to find the queen. Just smoke them a little bit. Hopefully they'll enjoy their new home. Okay. okay, so this is a frame open for laying. It's not completely drawn out either. On this side, the side that you're seeing, it's pretty nicely drawn out. On the other side, lacks a lot of work and they're filling this one with nectar. Let's have a look for the queen here. Don't see her. How about on this side? The first call on the temperament of this hive is pretty good. There's a lot of bees flying, but it's because they've just been released. They've been in that nuke box for a while. And none of them are bouncing off my. Uh, none of them are bouncing off my um, my hood or veil. I don't know if you noticed, but I've now gone to the combination of a, a bonnet, so I'm wearing a hat, underneath the integrated suit hood. And the reason why I'm doing that is that I didn't like the suit hood alone because I find it always got squished, and what was always up against the side of my face and head. So I thought they could get through that. And the bonnet completely failed on me last time. The bonnet, uh, the elastic stretched on me and I had to MacGyver it to work. And uh, basically I just ended up making a nice path for bee stings. So it's a combination of two. With the hat on, it's uh, keeping the, the veil itself away from my face. And with the veil, it should be integrated, so it should be harder for the bees to get in. Okay, last look for the queen on this hive, which is another brood frame. Brood on both sides. Let's take a look at what this cell is over here. Yeah, it looks like there's a queen cup being started here. You see it right there? Just going to look to see if there's an egg in there. 
And if there is, I'm not going to mess with it. I can't see an egg. Yes, there is an egg in there. There is an egg in there. There's larva here. Let's see if I can spot another egg. More egg. Yeah, there's eggs on this frame. Which means I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it for a few days and come back and see what they're doing with it. Now again, it would be good if I could spot the queen. I don't believe this would be the first hive or nuke that I've set up that either immediately went queenless or was already queenless when I put it in. So that can happen, obviously. And it leads to great difficulties. There's some drones in here. don't see the queen. I'm so bad at this queen spotting. What I'm going to do for some exercise is that um, my hive in the middle has a marked queen. So the next time I open that, I'm just going to try and observe the queen for a while. Just to see if by helping watching watch her, it helps me find unmarked queens. They have a way of moving and they have a way of being that kind of attracts your eye to them. But I don't have much luck with that at all. So more than luck, it's really experience and practice. I don't have enough experience and practice. And seeing that, I have just found the queen. Here she is. Okay, now don't lose her. Where'd she go? She's just here in this quadrant here. Moving that away. I definitely spotted her. Let's see if I can find her again. Yeah, right there. There she is. Right there is the queen. And she's just about to lay an egg. Every time I glance away, I lose her. But there's the queen. Making her way this way now. Down towards the bottom of the frame. Okay, so let's put her back in. Before I squish her, or otherwise lose her. And that makes me happy. So it's a four frame nuke. I'm going to remove the burr comb off the top. I'm going to uh, leave the box here and let these bees uh, work their way into the hive. Take a quick look here. That looks pretty good. So hopefully they're happy with their new home. I'll be back in a few days to, um, to add the rest of the frames. I'll end up moving, probably moving these brood into the middle and just putting the outside frames. I may check or them, may not. It's going to be warm, so I'm not too worried about uh, about bees uh, not being able to stay warm. Look at this bee, just lapping up on some some nectar that fell out of the hive, eh? I find that stuff so neat. So neat to see. So that's it. I'll button this one up, and I'll go to the next one, and uh, thanks for joining me on the first nuke reveal. Okay, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and uh, just installing my second nuke of 2018 to bring my total hive count up to six. To include the split that I did that's right over there beside it. Uh, so looking for the queen first off, with the amount of burr comb on here, I'd say they've probably been in there a day or two. Tops. And I was fortunate to find the queen in the last one, uh, in the last hive. Uh, I'm not great at finding the queen. These are unmarked, and uh, which is just fine for me. I'm just going to have to practice more. So this uh, nuke seemed to be a lot more heavy than the previous one I just put in. And you can see there's a decent amount of bees here. Look at that. It's a good amount of bees. You never really know what you're going to get when you buy a nuke, right? And this year, at least in, in Toronto, production is way, way behind. We had a horrible spring. It's June 28th. I was supposed to get these nukes middle of May, and they let us know by the end of April that there was no way they were going to be able to deliver. And uh, so I just waited. Again, I've got these hives going, so I'm not in a big rush, but nice to see these bees. Wow, a lot of very light colored bees and very calm. Really like what I see so far. Uh, I'm going to try not to smoke them right away. Smoke that ant, though. 
and we'll just see how it goes. They're really packed in. This far frame here is really jammed in, so I'm going to try and remove these frames first. You know what? I'm going to actually grab my frame puller because with these boxes, you can only pull them straight out. And that's what frame pullers are made for, right? Mm -hmm. So you can perfectly make do without one of these, but I did get one, so I might as well use it. And here is where it is, it should be useful. Again, the queen could be on any frame. She was on this frame in the other hive. But my goodness, look at this frame. It is very heavy with honey and nectar. Wow. Let's have a look here, come on. Squish. Holy moly. Let's see what we got here on this side. Wow, just chocker block full of nectar. Holy smokes. This side, they're just starting to cap the nectar on this side. But look at how thick this frame is. It goes way out beyond the edge of the frame. And that can be a problem in a 10, in a 10 frame box. This is going to be tight fitting, but They'll figure it out, make their way around. I like this for my honey supers. I really like having very wide frames for the honey supers. It makes them more efficient. Okay, I'm gonna try and concentrate on looking for the queen here. Because again, I wouldn't expect her to be on an all nectar and some pollen frame, but you just never know. And I just need the patience and the practice anyway. Just looking for the way she moves. Not that many bees in this nuke, in any nuke, really. So we should really be able to spot her and big drones because they kind of stand out like sore thumbs. Well, I don't see any queen type of movement here, so I'm going to put this frame in. Now, I don't have all the filler frames for these hives. I left them at home. So I will just uh, put them all on one side of the box for the few days that it's going to take me to get back here. It shouldn't be a big problem. Wow, that is tight. I wonder if that frame is going to fit in there with nine others. Okay, so pull the next one out. Next one I'm expecting to be more of a brood frame. There are a lot of bees in here, though, I will tell you that. This one's certainly a lot lighter than the last one, but it is full of bees. Oh, don't be dropping this, Frank. Okay, so I really have to focus on the fact that the puller should just be used as a puller, not a holder. I should use my hands to hold these guys. It's very much lighter. You can see there's lots of room to lay here, so it's either... What's likely happened is that this hive has just exploded with hatch brood and it probably came from this frame, so... Good chance to see the queen on this frame because there's going to be a lot of room to lay. So I'll take a look for some eggs. Maybe try to move them around a little bit. And just look for the movement that you normally associate with the queen. Just blowing them a little bit to get them moving. Big drone just landed on there. Okay. But you can see what they're doing here. Wow, this is really interesting. There's the queen right there. Right at the bottom of this frame. Look at her right there. Now it's interesting. What they're doing on this frame is they're filling in the honey all the way around. She's going to start laying, or she has already started laying, in the middle there. Okay, so let's make sure this queen doesn't disappear on me. I'm going to try and find her again just before I put her in the box. So that I know I don't squish her. Let's see if she went to the other side. There she is, yep, yeah, she's right here on this side, right at the bottom corner. See her moving around? Right there, moving towards the edge of the frame right now, moving up towards my hand. 
lovely. Okay, I'm gonna put her in. Don't want her to go anywhere. Right on the edge here, which I don't like. Okay, I saw her all the way in, and I'm not putting this frame right against the other frame, because the other frame is incredibly wide. So that might be a problem. I might have to replace this outside frame, because it's so wide, there's no way I'm going to get 10 frames in there. But anyway, it's a good problem to have, particularly when you see the queen, and you see that, uh, that this is a, uh, a really nice nuke, nuke box of bees so far. Okay, so again, lesson learned. Just pick it up. Don't get fancy with these pullers. I'm going to have a quick look for resources. Button this up and I will give them uh, some pollen. Very empty frame here. Not a good frame for her to lay. She was one big fat queen, a eh? big healthy looking queen. Another frame wide open for her to lay, which is good. That's what we want. We also want resources in here. There's a lot of honey in that first frame. And there should be honey in this last one too. Let's see. Hmm. It's hard to lift these guys out without a smoker. Okay, easy, easy. There we go. Okay, so Another frame that uh, does not have brood on it. Or does it have it on this side? Oh yes, it does. It does have brood on this side. So I'm going to leave this side facing in because uh, it'll be easier for them to keep it warm that way. And they'll probably start to fill the outside with honey. I'm going to scrape off all this stuff on the bottom just because I don't like the looks of it. So. Hey, did I tell you I found my hide, hive tool? Went out and bought another one just in case, but I did end up finding it. Whoa. I will pick up that honeycomb. I'm going to devise a, uh, a way to melt wax right out here. So I just drop it in like a black bucket or something. And always have wax melted here because it's too much of a pain to take it home. Okay, so I've brought the brood back in to face the bees there. It's probably a better positioning. I'm not going to mess too much. I'm not happy with the positioning of these frames, so I might have to do some work on that next time out. I'm going to leave them some pollen. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to leave this frame, this, uh, this hive to go. That's uh, two new hives, which brings me up to six in total for 2017. Thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee.